All right, we're back. You can see it's set up a whole bunch of stuff here. There's a lot of Ruby packages, so on and so forth. And we see here setting up Puppet. And here we see a sort of confirmation that Puppet is now installed. I'm hitting Puppet Help. And uh, that's what's uh, up there now. So if I wanted to do Puppet Help, what uh, file? We'll see what comes up. It tells us how to use that. So that is apt get. Again, uh, apt is advanced packaging tool. And you can also uh, type in, let's see what else, apt get. Uh, not, let's see, upgrade. Um, Yeah, so the, the upgrade is going through, finding out all the stuff that you have installed. You see all that LibreOffice there. You see some Python, uh, web browser, and a couple other things. It's looking at everything that you've installed under the software repository or under the app to get a tool, and it is going to do a mass upgrade of everything that you've got installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and we'll hit yes. And we will, I'll pause it. This will probably take a short time, but we'll see how it goes. All right. So that caught me a little unawares. That upgrade uh, updated Absolutely everything you see, some of the remaining, not the remaining, but some of the late things that we were doing there. It was updating uh, LibreOffice Calc, Math, so on and so forth. I, I see Writer in there as well. So, yeah, be careful of that upgrade command because <laughs> it will catch you. Uh, but that was a good thing for us to see there. Uh, it actually went through and did the upgrade of everything that uh, we have that, that we needed uh, in order to uh, get this machine up and up and running. So that was apt to get. We just did VI, and I am so bad I can't remember what else we needed to do here. Got a little. We did if config I a change ownership. So we're going to do ls. Get rid of this guy here. Sorry about that. Close the browser. There we go. go quick ls. Yeah, notice those uh, scripts that I've got. Now, I'll show you the contents of one. It's just a simple hello world script in uh, in Perl. And if I do an ls-l and we look at the permissions there, we've got uh, Tom's the owner of this one with script 2. There's some read, write, execute for the creator, and execute, read and execute for the group. So let's see what happens when we do. Uh, so to run scripts, this one's written in Perl, so we're going to invoke the Perl interpreter. That's what you're seeing right here. And that's the script. Hello world. In Linux, an executable can be uh, run by typing in dot slash. 
we'll type in script2.pl. We'll see if this is it works. I can change it when it's I can change that mode by typing in change mode. We'll do a minus x. Spell script. Right, there we go. Hit enter operation not permitted because I need to type in sudo. And so if we do, let's say, uh, what was that? LS dash L, L for long form. And we can see now that that executable permissions, oops, wrong one, executable permissions here, no longer part of uh, script 2's properties. To bring that back, I'm doing a plus x script pl and <laughs> type in sudo and there we go. We're doing ls dash l we're doing ls dash l and we see that the executable uh, permission is is back. So that is change mode. Very important. Uh, we could have done that with write and read uh, as well. We can also change the ownership. Currently, script two is owned by my Tom user. All right, and we will type in the list. Shown is change ownership, and I think we do this first. Operation not permitted. So I keep forgetting to use sudo. So the correct syntax here is change ownership. Add the user account that is going to be the new owner and then type in the file that is going to have that you're trying to change. So let's see what ls-l shows us. Now is no longer Tom, but John that is the owner of that uh, file.